All right, I figured it's about time we got back to our Bluebird 1.5 slash 2 project. Um, in case you missed the last video, we've got an uh, airplane in it now, which is super cool. But today, uh, we're going to try to keep this a little shorter. Uh, this is the machine as I received it. The only thing I've really done as far as the lower door goes is I spent $15 and got a special little 3-inch CFL bulb for this. And then decided, eh, I don't like it. Uh, so I bought some parts. We're going to take that off there because, again, this used to be a stepper. So in other words, it had reels at some point and uh, this small screen right here was used for uh, the bonuses so that's going to go away we're going to put the williams uh wherever i put it it's around here somewhere oh it's hiding under there there you go we're going to put that in we're going to get rid of this um we're going to put the player tracking panel up here which i also received and in... oh here it is okay yeah i got everything close by and handy okay we're going to put that in uh, here's the lower panel. This has just got the guts in it that we're going to use on here. Uh, this is our light assembly. And uh, I think that's about it, really. So um, we're going to do some door modifications today. So let's get started. Remember, never work with the machine on because it's either going to screw you or you're going to screw it somehow. Let me go ahead and take this off. These are just cheesy block offs. They work pretty well. They just like super glued them on there. I cleaned up all the glue residue and I just used double stick tape to put them on there. You know, I like the, the black look, but eh, you know, it, it beats something else. So first things first, we're going to open up our belly door. Um, also this, this right here, this keeps people from reaching up in here and that's next to the machine. But since there's no hopper, there's no anything, I'm going to take this cover off right here, so I don't have to open the entire main door to turn the machine on and off. I can simply open the belly door, stick my hand in there, and actuate the switch. So we're gonna start with that. And I'm gonna do my best to sort of edit this as I go along. But uh, I make no promises, no guarantees. All right, here we go. Basically, it's just gonna take one of these as it gotta come off. Loosen it up. Get it off with my thinners. And then it should slide right out. There we go. We'll put that in our kind of parts bin. Now we can close this up. And let me go ahead and latch it. All right. So now all we have to do is reach through here to turn the machine on. We don't have to open the entire door assembly. All right. On to our little door assembly here. This is really the only thing that's going to stay here. So we can start by going ahead and taking this little panel off. Oh, here's my trusty nut driver. And um, we are using an 11 30 seconds. I guess it's probably a number 10 too, but you know, 11 30 seconds does the job. It's the one I had in close proximity. So we put it on here. We get all the little nuts loose. And we'll finish taking them off by fingers because someone's going to hold the camera or the phone. There's one. There's actually six on here. I've taken this off before, but thought I'd put it back on just to show y'all the process because, uh, you know, I know nothing. I've never had one of these before. But I am fairly good with uh, basic electronics and well, anything I'm mechanical. Let's hope this doesn't fall out when I take this nut off. Okay, it's not good. Now it should just push out. There we go. I'll add that to my parts collection and hang on to that. Now, where is our replacement panel? It's going to be this one here. And it should use the same six screws. Okay, well, look at that. I learned something. I learned something. You have to have the printer chute off to put the little door assembly on. So let me loosen that up. Take the printer chute, which is actually designed for a Bluebird 2, so it's lighted. And I've got a 
can't tell, but I've got a an almost brand new, guaranteed to be working uh, Future Logic Gen 2 printer. The only thing I'm missing is the tiny little harness that goes right there, and the other end goes right there. But uh, we'll get that before we cross that bridge when we get there. All right, let's go ahead and slide this bad boy in here. All the holes should readily line up. Notice I said should. There we go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. All right, let me get some of these nuts started. I don't want it to fall out. And we'll go with, say, this one. I have all the nuts. I don't know if I'm going to put them all on right now. But this is basically your, your printer exit and your player tracking interface but you know what i'm actually going to leave these bottom ones off because we're going to be taking out the panel beneath it and as you can see there's a little bit of overlap that holds the panel in and i don't want to have to take these off multiple times so we'll put this one up here in the top corner again just getting it getting it started with my fingers and that's it yeah, the rest of these all have a flange from this bottom assembly that we're taking out. Anyway, this one does too. So we'll just go with those two for now. Let me get my trusty nut driver, and we'll go ahead and tighten those up. And pull things in and get it all kosher. You don't want to over-tighten like anything else. I'm sure there's torque specifications on these, but I don't know what they are. So I'm just not going to tighten the heck out of it. You see there's a handy little recess right there for this whole shebang to fit in. Look at that. Man, we are on our way. Let me go ahead and screw this ticket chute. I believe that's the vernacular. Let me go ahead and put this bad boy in there. Uh -huh. There we go. Use a couple more of these nuts. And again, get them, get them started with my fingers. Then we'll use the nut driver to cinch things down. I'm sorry I'm not the best cinematographer. Okay, there we go. That is our printer shoot, our lighted printer shoot for a Bluebird 2, which is, uh, as far as the printer goes, unless you've got a different brand, really just the same setup. All right, well, there's one panel, and we may just leave it at that. Let you see how things go. That is looking snazzy. So, ultimately... This right here will have that panel. This entire area right here will be our lighted Williams uh, glass. And uh, well, that'll be it. And the only thing I really need to do, aside from that, the exterior of this machine. Oh, I've gotten all the right button inserts now. Uh, you know, they make the ones that are printed on like a, a clear sheet. And, uh, you know, those are great. But ultimately... A lot of times the font is slightly different or it's a little bit lighter. For instance, here, this is an actual, I call it a tile. This is a tile. This is the printed one. Now I have the actual tile right there. I just haven't put it in yet. But you can clearly see there's a difference. This is very crisp, very dark. This is a little fuzzy and not quite, and the contrast isn't the same. Uh, and for most people, that doesn't matter. For me, you know, I like things to look as original, as new as possible. So, uh, there's one small update. Uh, we've got a new topper to add. Um, and then this is really going to be a pretty much done deal. Oh, I still have to install the Tito. We have a Tito for this. I also picked up a Tito for that one, uh, which I haven't installed yet. But I still have to put the new printer in this one clear it and re-enable the printer etc and fingers crossed everything works uh but that'll be another video so hang tight like and subscribe so i can uh again make my youtube millions and in our next installment we will probably go ahead and do one of these two panels right here either this the player tracking the input panel with this keypad is going to go right here uh and then this whole shebang is going to come out and this doodad's going to go in along with our Williams panel. So please like and subscribe and hey, tell your friends.